Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna wrap up our Newcastle local fish shop crawl, and also gonna push in at the end of this video, my coverage from Fragstock, Newcastle. Okay, here we are, the final Pet Quarters local fish shop crawl of uh, Newcastle, and it is Pet Quarters Thornton, which is also the uh, host of our Fragstock Newcastle. But uh, before we get onto the Fragstock footage, I thought uh, I'd give you a bit of a tour of this store, and uh, here we are. Again, it's in a uh, nice little complex where you've got uh, food and uh, clothing and some other uh, options available there, so you can sort of make it your uh, one-stop destination. And again, as you can see from the signage at the front, there is no uh, mistaking or denying that this is a uh, aquarium dominated pet store. And uh, you just have to ignore some of the markings on the floor there, that's uh, for some of the frag stock traffic. But again, you can see this is a huge store. Um, I think Paul told me this wasn't their largest, but uh, geez, it uh, cannot be far off it. So we've got a large range of uh, cat and dog supplies, as you've seen at all the other stores. Of course, we've also got a little bit of reptile um, activity here as well, but uh, the whole emphasis is on uh, all of your pet needs. And uh, we've got another one of these beautiful uh, lorikeets in store, and uh, this dude is a little bit more shy than the one at the other store, but uh, that's probably just because he's not sure what I'm doing with the camera and the gimbal. But uh, I'll just do a bit of a quick walk through some of the other pet supplies. You can even see they've got wild bird feeders there, some large aviaries too, if you were to get one of those uh, type of uh, lorikeets. You've got all your uh, cat and dog fleeing and worming stuff. And of course, you've got uh, the uh, dog wash uh, with a groomer at the back. Um, one of the sort of trademark features of pet quarters and yeah I'll give a little quick look around here just to show you the range of foods here and that's mainly because you can see um, some of the large solar systems there and also um, their freezer for aquarium related foods. Let's head on over to where uh, where the real activity is and that's what you've all come here for and that's the aquarium side of things now. These uh, retailers you set up in front aren't normally there. This is obviously for frag stock, but uh, that uh, big neon blue aquarium sign is normally there. But before we get to that, let's just have a look at some of the uh, dry goods. You can see a huge range of freshwater ornaments. We've got uh, nets and siphon hoses, gravel cleaners, uh, some air stones, heaters. Uh, looks like we've got uh, some polyfilter, some other uh, filter pads. Um, the end here, we've got a great uh, display of New Life Spectrum food um, with their probiotics and also uh, all their other varieties there. Around the corner here, we've got uh, some pumps uh, and some magnet cleaners, filter socks, the Aquaforest range. You can see a nice 20% off the Aquaforest range there, which is a heck of a deal. Uh, we've got uh, the Red Sea supplements. We can see some two little fishies, Acro Power there, some Quantum stuff, Triton ICP test kits, uh, Revive Coral Dip. ATOs, Red Sea Carbons, uh, you name it, this store has it. This is a large aquarium section and it's um, is really handy to have a huge range and a good diversity of uh, different brands on hand to pick from. See a huge assortment there of medications. Um, a lot of that is freshwater related, but there's some saltwater applications too. We've got uh, some fragging goods here on the end, or, uh, mainly around Ocean Wonders parts and pieces. Uh, but also a nice little uh, water box cube there uh, with a take away, take home today price. Around the corner here we've got some fresh water tanks set up ready to run and of course these ones also come with uh, the pricing that you can take at home as it is, which is a pretty nifty little feature. And uh, we've got some Aquil fresh water sort of nano tanks there, we've got some basic glass boxes should you want to make um, just a, a nice basic little beta tank or something like that. We've got, uh, speaking of betas, we've got uh, the betas in here. This guy's putting on a little bit of a show for the camera, which is cool. Good assortment of betas there. We've got more food here, another freezer. Maybe the other freezer did not have marine food. I thought it did, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. And we've got a few bits and pieces here, uh, mainly set up for the show, but those skimmers and Reef Pure RO systems are normally there. It's just the Delua gear that is uh, just set up for the show. But uh, let's have a quick look at some of the freshwater stuff so we can uh, skip on past that and get onto all the salty goodness. So we've got a great assortment of uh, mollies and guppies and all of those other freshwater fish that I do not know the name of. There's a uh, nice black freshwater fish, just proving uh, how uh, talented I am with freshwater fish. But uh, we've, one thing I do like here is, uh, and we've seen it in a couple of stores there, these nice uh, planted tanks in the middle there where you can pick up all different varieties of plants, which is cool. 
Now we get onto, uh, no, we're still on a little bit of freshwater stuff here. So uh, you can see the camera is gonna pan a little bit quicker till I work out what I'm looking at. We've got some freshwater snails there. We've got some uh, goldfish. Let's see what else we can find in this uh, area here. Different varieties of goldfish, the ones with the uh, bubbly faces. I must admit, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for them, even though they look a little bit strange. And uh, here we go onto some marine items here. So we've got a uh, nice uh, assortment of tangs in that tank. Let's have a look down here. We've got a wicked little uh, box fish there. We've got a couple of clowns checking each other out through the glass, um, wanting to fight no, most likely. It looks like we've got a uh, banner fish there. A uh, little, uh, I forgot the name of those tangs. We've got a uh, fox face. We've got a blue tang. We've got a little baby clown tang by the looks. Looks like another rabbit fish in there as well. And hiding down here, we've got a uh, beautiful um, angel there. Really nice coloring in with a uh, pretty rash. He's just looking like he's just chilling out, <laughs> doing what uh, rats do. Sailfin always showing their sails for the uh, camera. We've got a uh, cool hawkeye, sorry, uh, yeah, hawkeye. Mm, arc eye flame hawk, that's the arc eye hawkfish. Wow, that is a tongue twister. All right, we've got a uh, white cheek. Uh, let's see what else we can find. As you can tell, as I'm going through all these fish, we've got a pretty large uh, diversity of fish and a large number of fish on hand. Um, a nice little uh, scooter plenty there. And we haven't even got to the corals yet and some of the staple fish. So we've got uh, blue-green chromis, we've got a flame hawk, we've got some fire gobies there. Uh, where to, you have to excuse some of the uh, camera work here and you can tell that because uh, frag stock is about to begin in another hour or so that there are quite a lot of people about so I'm doing my best and I've just popped the filter on so we can have a look at these uh, coral displays they were filled to the brim for uh, frag stock which is totally understandable and some absolutely cracking LPS pieces you can see some of the torches and hammers in this tank are just out of this world I believe most of these were supplied by salty pets and um, you can see why because there's some stuff there that would traditionally get exported out but uh, thankfully stayed on Australian shores and came uh, to pet quarters in Thornton there was a fungi in there that did not come from salty pets but uh, did go back to salty pets because uh, Heath the man himself that one I'm pointing to there saw that and his uh, jaw dropped he said I need that put that in a box and I'll take it home with me we come over this side, we've got even more. We've got a great assortment of Goniopora in here. Um, you name the colours, we've got the varieties of them in here. Looks like we've got uh, some platies, some Favias, some great Lobos. In fact, some really nice Lobos. Uh, there was one in this tank here, a Rainbow Lobo, that sold to a local. Unfortunately, I saw it after it was already sold because it was an absolute steal at $60 Australian. Now the corals don't end there, we've got a nice little uh, fragging section here. We can see we've got some chalice, some monty, some cyphastria, some beautiful coloured ones at that. Um, some really, really nice pieces. Some bits, I think of these ones may have come from the vault and some of them may have come from salty pets as well. So we've got a great assortment of corals in here. Uh, we've even got some uh, recordia, some larger uh, cyphastria pieces up there. A beautiful gold samacora, look at that piece, it's glowing there. Uh, we got some nice uh, panape uh, frags there. So it looks like some green Samacora frags. Come on down here, we got uh, some nice gold chalice frags. I can see some war coral frags. Uh, we got some little torch frags there that are getting blown around pretty heavily at the moment. And uh, some bright Recordia, Rhodactus, uh, so even some Goni frags, Acan frags, some, in fact, fairly ultra Acan frags. And it does not end there. We come over to some more frags here. We've got, uh, looks like there could be more Cephastrias there. Uh, let's see if we can have a look at these Rhodactus. Ooh, uh, well the uh, orange bounce is quite nice on there. Have a look at that one. He's an absolute stunner. Again, sold. And I apologize again for the uh, jittery camera work. I am trying to get through the hordes of people uh, hovering around these tanks at the moment. And you'll get to see the number of people there in a second. This is the uh, SPS Colony tank, uh, which you can see was also filled right to the brim and some uh, really nice pieces in there. I think the colonies were $60 Australian each. I'd have to confirm that pricing, but it was somewhere around that mark. There's also a few extra frags in that tank. Some beautiful pieces, really nice size, very happy looking uh, polyp extension and colors, hard to uh, go past. So let's have a look what we got down here. We've got yet more frags. Well, these are the uh, bouncers that I didn't quite get to capture on uh, camera before. 
um, and that blue with the orange uh, polyps, I guess, or orange extensions, <laughs> I don't know what you call the, the furry parts of a uh, rhodactus, look amazing. But uh, if you don't see something you want in the uh, tanks, come check out the display tanks because uh, everything is for sale, of course, and there's some beautiful trachophilia, fabias, scollies, the absolute corals in this piece. In fact, this one here is a little uh, Umar special. That uh, beautiful deshi with the gold spots. I've never seen anything like that. And um, again, I saw that one. I thought, oh, I'll take that home. And it had already had uh, sold written on it. So congrats to Umar and that stunning piece. I've got a couple of pictures of that later on. And we come around to our other display tank here. The display tanks do not end at uh, Pet Gordis Thornton. These are some of the uh, SPS frag packs that Salty Pets had done up. And of course, just, you know, another display tank, another marine display tank, um, just loving life in this store. I've not, I don't think I've come across many stores with this many display tanks before, so it's um, pretty cool to see. All right, we'll just pop that filter off so we uh, get rid of that orange uh, haze. You can see we've got a uh, Red Sea wall of salt. Again, they had some good deals on those, being the uh, frag stock special. Um, and if we follow the tape around, we'll just stick our head in and we'll have a look. We can see some of the uh, prize tables here. This was some of the prizes that were available on the day. And uh, just a quick little check in on one of uh, my bubble tips that I brought up for the day, which is uh, in there and loving life under a white LED only. And uh, the quick look around the corner shows that uh, people are still frantically setting up for frag stock. I did a video on the uh, setup of that. In fact, I did two live stream videos, so be sure to check those out. But uh, let's move on to the opening of Fragstock itself. And you can see we had this, a really, really good turnout, uh, bearing in mind that Newcastle's a good couple of hours out of Sydney. So um, it's difficult to ask a lot of Sydney siders to travel that far, but a lot did. And Newcastle reefers turned out in force as well. We had a huge lineup of people. Um, we've got uh, some guys from Hunter Acrylics there, Reef Revolution. Uh, we've got... Uh, all sorts there lined up and you can see there's people lining up around the corner we're still a little while off opening some fantastic deals on the reef revolution uh, marine pure new life spectrum um, and the team from hunter acrylics there to answer any questions but uh, let's get the doors open you can see paul rudder looking very excited there he's uh, working tirelessly for this event which has been um, an absolute uh, blessing for me because uh, he absolutely took the load off me and you can see there's lots of big smiles. Um, everyone uh, heading in is all uh, happy. They know they're about to see some of the uh, some of the best frags that uh, you can get in Australia at the moment. And uh, the quality of stock we had um, was absolutely second to none. And I've got some close-up pictures. I do have some pictures that I'll show in a second. I must admit, I didn't get anywhere near as much footage as I thought I would. And that's because when you see in a second the, uh, the number of people, um, the quality of frags, the just the general busyness of the day absolutely kept me busy. I um, did not get as much time to uh, get about with the camera as I thought I would, which to be honest is a great sign. That meant I was talking to all of you guys all day long. I was drooling over corals. I was even occasionally hanging back and having a beer. Um, and sometimes I was patting this dash hound on screen because uh, I'm not sure many of you know, but uh, the dog I've got is a dash hound and um, I absolutely love them. So uh, when I see a dash hound at a frag show, I can't help but uh, give it a pat. And it looks like I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, so Fragstock Newcastle, we were hoping for uh, somewhere between 150 and 200 people to come. And I think, I must admit, we didn't do a door count, but um, it would be fair to say we probably had over 300 show up in the day. Um, bearing in mind, this is a full day event and you're about to see uh, how busy it was. Yes, this is the area where our 14 frag sellers were. You can see it was uh, pretty jammed to pack and it was like that for a good few hours. But uh, I just want to move on quickly now to some of the pictures of the corals I took for the day because um, it, I know that's the sort of thing you want to see from frag shows and I didn't capture everything. Um, I got pictures of the bits I could while we were setting up and um, I just thought I'd share them here because there were some absolutely cracking pieces and uh, I think all of the sellers did really well on the day. They brought along really bright and beautiful corals. Um, they had some pretty good sales for the day. Um, I know everyone that left on the day was pretty happy. I saw a lot of people walking out with uh, a lot more corals than um, I think they told themselves or their significant other they would buy when they walked in, which I don't know, is um, probably a good indication of a successful day. And you can see we had a huge diversity of corals as well, ranging from uh, SBS to LPS to Zoas, um, Acans, Torches. 
you name it, we had an awesome assortment. Now, some of these pictures here are also from corals that uh, pet quarters had in the day um, because we generally try to keep frag stock two frags to make it uh, so if you're looking to buy um, colonies, you can buy them from the hosting store, which I guess makes sense. But uh, yeah, some absolutely beautiful pieces here. And the other thing I want to point out that was a real cool hit from the day was um, Matt and Jade from Coastal Clownfish brought up an absolute assortment of um, clownfish and you're about to see them on screen. It gave such a uh, nice little diversity to the show and um, a real good showcase for those guys to show all the different types of breeds they handle. And you can see on screen here, they're absolutely stunning. So I'm keen to get a pair of those in for the Idiot Proof Reef Tank series if you're not watching that yet. And these are a couple of the other photos I got from the day. Um, the one you're about to see is the uh, very generous gift the uh, Pet Quarters team gave me, which is a Newcastle Knights jersey. And uh, to wrap things up at the day, Paul did a great announcement, a great job uh, of drawing all the prizes. We raised over $3,000 for the Great Barrier Reef Foundation. And uh, before you know it, here I am on the plane heading back home. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I realize we've been going for a touch over 15 minutes now, but um, I wanted to try and keep the uh, Pet Quarters Thornton local fish shop crawl video and frag stock together because it was going to be a little bit awkward to separate the two especially seeing that I probably lacked getting a bit more footage from frag stock than uh, I was expecting I would. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to pop it in the comment section down below. Till next time, guys. I um, appreciate you watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And um, I'll chat to you next time. Thanks again. Bye.